Today we're talking about Anivia Jade, what to do, and how to win with it. Let's get started. In this video, we're going over what to do in the early, middle, and late game, what units to hold items for transitions, what augments to look for, how to position well, and how to secure top 4. For this comp, you want to find J3 ASAP. Use Karma or Ezreal plus Tarek to hold items early. I recommend going for a tank item first. Usually that means Sunfire Cape, but since Nivea likes Morello Namicon, we want either Warmogs or Stoneplate first. Here's how the two carry variations might look depending on what you find early. The Ezreal start is my preference, since Tempest 2 is strong early game. Lee Sin is preferred, but using Kiana also works here as well. You will also need to be level 5 to fit J3 plus Tempest 2. If you're wind streaking, it's worth going level 5 on 2-3 or 2-5. Moving into the mid game, your goal is to build Econ while finding a Nivea 2 star and at least Lulu 1. If you're winning with the early board, don't spend gold rolling. Instead, power to level 7 fast. Once at level 7, roll down a bit to find the units I mentioned above. Don't commit too much gold as it's still early, and your board should be stable by now. Now there's two options for mid game boards, one where you get a lucky Shioyu, and one where you don't. Here's what they look like. I like to use Rise for added power when I don't have Shioyu. If you need more frontline, then replace Rise and Nami with two more Guardians for Guardian 4. But if there's a lot of enemy AP comps, then Mystic 2 is worth it. If at any point you find a lucky Nico, then just replace Tarek with Nico. Now for the end game, this can be broken up into two stages. Part 1, rolling down for your units and stabilizing the end board. And part 2, going for level 8 and 9 and maxing out your value. Unless you Giga high roll and you have tons of Econ to spare, you want to be slow rolling at level 7 for Alt Nivia 3 star. During this time, you should be able to secure a Shioyu 1 and a Nico 1 at least. Here's what that should look like. Now if you're just Goomba stomping the lobby, you can do your slow roll on level 8, but that's unlikely, and if you try to, you may end up throwing your game by running out of Econ. Once you have enough copies and you can reliably hit a Nivia 3 when rolling down, go for it. With any luck, you can hit Shioyu 2 and or even Nico 2. Just some extra notes, if you find Soraka at any point, just replace Nar, and if you find a Bard, replace Nami. You can always squeeze Shapeshifter 2 back in at level 8. Now that you hit your main carry unit, it's time to go level 8 or 9. If you haven't already, secure Shioyu 2 plus Nico 2 at level 8. Your comp is pretty much finished at this point. Just make the upgrades I mentioned earlier on the route to level 9. At level 9, my preferred add-in unit is Yasuo, especially if you have a blue buff. Here's my favorite level 9 board with items included. Now these are all best in slot, so you'll need to find what you can use in your own games. You also definitely want either Bramble or Dragon's Claw depending on enemy boards. And that should go on Shioyu since Nico will copy the stats anyway. For Anivia items, Shoujin is a must and should be combined with Morello Namicon. Your third item can be Deathcap, Gunblade, or Archangel Staff. I prefer the scaling from Archangel Staff. The only major change to this is if you hit an Evoker Emblem. If you do, then the board should look like this. You can give the emblem to Soraka or Bard. I prefer Soraka's healing to Bard CC. Now for units holding items to transition, this is pretty simple. For tank items, it should go from Tark to Nico, and for damage items, it should go either from Karma or Ezreal into Anivia. That's pretty much it. If you want to improve your game fast, then you have to subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss out on meta updates and the latest comp guides. Now we're talking about augments. For cybernetic augments, Uplink is better than Shell, but both are really, really good. Any Evoker augment is good, since it gives you Evoker 4, and if you get Crown at 2-1, it's almost guaranteed a top 4. The emblem should be placed on Soraka or Bard late game. Luden's Echo is a great choice, especially if your comp lacks power. Ascension is a great damage pick as well. Since your frontline is super solid, and you have two damage carries with Shioyu and Anivia, this augment gives a big boost. Essence Theft is a fantastic choice, especially if you have an emblem giving Evoker 4. Axiom Mark is half decent. It synergizes well with Anivia's AoE, leading to fast mana gains, but falls flat compared to other options. Blue Battery, like Axiom Arc, is relatively weak, so it should only be taken if the other options aren't as good. Jeweled Lotus is a fairly solid damage choice, and you can combine this with Jeweled Gauntlet for big crit damage. Pentinence isn't that strong. You only have two statues and they blow up fast. Only take this as a last resort if the other options are really bad. Now, I don't recommend taking Econ Augments in this build. Since you roll down at level 7, it's not too late in the game that you need to save up for a long time, so Econing without an Augment is good enough. Now for positioning, the thing about Jade is that you don't really change it up too much since you stay pretty clumped up. You can move from the left to the right side if you'd like, but you lose a spade for your jade statue on the right side, so unfortunately your position is kind of predictable but still really strong. For the most part, since you'll be remaining clumped up, enemy bard is a major counter to you, but you also counter assassins really hard since they can never get in. 
The only major thing to look out for is a Sona ult. If you're about to fight a Sona, make sure you aren't lined up against her. Have a ranged unit bait her out on the opposite end. I typically use Bard since he's surprisingly tanky and even assassins won't one-shot him before he casts. Aside from that, make sure to avoid thresh hooks where you can. I don't often see a thresh in the late game, so this is more of an early game oriented tip, but still it's worth mentioning and it's always good to be on the lookout. Now for securing top 4 and beyond, you just need to get level 9 if you can and look for your late game units. That would be Soraka 2, Bard 2, or Yasuo 2. At this point, you should already be top 4 and be looking to go for first place. If you have the econ, then try to find Shio Yu 3 or Nico 3. Either one basically guarantees a first place. What did you think of the guide? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you found this guide helpful, leave a like. Until next time.